Computer games have long ceased to be just entertainment, and developers are increasingly raising serious topics in their work, such as mental disorders. In this video, we will tell you about the coolest and most interesting games where the main characters suffer from one or another mental illness. Thank you for watching the RTV Gaming channel and we are starting. Of course, it's worth starting the video with Hellblade, Senwa's Sacrifice. The game tells the story of a young girl named Senua who suffers from schizophrenia. She wears the head of her lover on her belt and goes on a dangerous journey to ask the goddess Hell herself to release the soul of her beloved. The game includes not only a mixture of Celtic and Scandinavian mythology, but also notes of a real psychological thriller. Every now and then, Senua will encounter auditory hallucinations and creepy images that haunt her. After all, how else to defeat your own demons, if not to face them face to face? Alice, Madness Returns is not a simple tale about Alice going to Wonderland. Alice Liddell suffers from a mental trauma that appeared after the death of her parents. Most likely, schizophrenia is again involved here. The girl goes to Wonderland to find answers to her questions, but the magical kingdom also suffers from evil. Interestingly, Alice has a sanity scale. When she completely loses it, she goes into a state of hysteria, which helps to collect the remnants of her strength and destroy the enemies. Perhaps everyone who played GTA 5 remembered Trevor Phillips. He absolutely does not care about moral principles and norms, Trevor ignores all the rules. By the age of 45, the hero became not only a drug addict and alcoholic, but also earned an antisocial personality disorder. Given his lifestyle, as well as excessive aggressiveness, it is not surprising that the character has so many enemies and very few friends. On the other hand, such behavior allows him to do what he really wants and live for his own pleasure. Perhaps Trevor will not cause the most pleasant feelings for some players, while others will genuinely like him. The story of the girl Gree is a way to fight depression, which the developers showed in their colorful project. Traveling through the amazing locations of Gree, made in a watercolor style, the heroine will have to go through several stages in order to overcome her illness. The farther the hero turns out, the more clear-cut features the world acquires, in which the girl initially closed herself from pain and suffering. The environment, as it were, hints that everything will be fine, and Gree will get rid of the disease that prevents her from living fully. The Town of Light is about a girl, Rennie, who suffers from various symptoms of a mental disorder. She spent a long time in a psychiatric hospital in the city of Volterra, and now she has to remember all the terrible events that happened to her within the walls of this building. Rennie speaks about herself in the third person and she leads the whole story herself. In fact, players in the Town of Light will not only have to feel the problems of a person with mental disorders, but also find out in what conditions such patients were once kept and what horrors were presented to them by medical personnel who had long forgotten that they should help and not to torture. Is it necessary to talk about mental disorders through games? Write about it in the comments.